Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today we're talking little bitty pet foxes. Today I am visiting Angie Patterson of Fox Angels who has a very special new fox that she would like me to meet. Boy, am I in for a treat. Welcome to Fox Angels. I know who you come to see. Oh, yes. One certain little pet fox. A pet fox? Pet foxes? Yes. I can't come in. wait. You've got so much fox stuff everywhere in here. I know. You, the presents that an awful lot of people give us and they're really nice, you know. Yes. Door stop. I know. No, look at what with your hair and everything. You seem Just to be about. the perfect perfect lady to have foxes. Well, probably. Yeah, but I'm, I'm absolutely dying to see to meet her. her. I mean, she is a pet fox. This is like one of the one of the ones that people will actually buy to have as a pet. Yes, yeah. Not good though. Not no, a bit naughty I've heard. Yes, because yeah. they don't go into the research of it. They don't have the right setup and you really yeah. have to have the So right even setup. though they're domestic pets, they're not really, are they? They're in between. Yeah, but you're going to tell us everything about will, them yes, today, and I'll we're try. going to try. meet this fantastic little girl that I'm dying to. To what's her name? Zelda Jane, because she's naughty. <laughs> oh my God! Look at her. Hello. Hi. Oh, she's got. Oh my God. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, hello, Zelda. Beautiful. Oh my god, she's beautiful. So let's talk about having foxes as a pet. Because of course we know there are lots of YouTube channels out there which are showing people with foxes and we've got to admit they are flipping cute. What is the, the reality of the situation of putting a fox in the house? Forget wild foxes, focusing in on just the domestically bred ones. No. No, just no. not. You've got, you've got to be a special kind of person. You've got to give up your holidays. You've got to look after these things. Some people take them with them. Uh, no, I certainly wouldn't recommend a fox as a pet. No, I mean, yeah. from what, what I've seen of, of her running around is you, you've got to have eyes in the back of your head, don't you? It's like a two-year-old. It's like it is. Mm. But she's in everything. Mm. She's, she's been eating your wire mm. over there. Mm. A lot of get electrocuted that way because people don't realise this. Uh, our wire is all turned off today because, you know, evidently we were showing what they were actually yeah. like. She's been trying to crunch my... She uh, tried to eat my phone. Nickel. She's down the back of the, the couch right now. She's been ripping boxes, pulling stuff out. This is what people don't realise, do they? They no. think, no. have a fox when it's baby, um, and I'll really, really keep it tame, and I'll raise it like a puppy, and it will be a puppy, but no, it, it won't, won't be a puppy no, because it they're when it not gets... really domestic, no. domestic yet, no. are they? they when, when you get a fox that gets to about six months old, it goes to the crazies. The crazies is where they actually go crazy. This beautiful little fox turns nasty. It will have a go at you and it is, everybody wants to get rid of them there. I get so many phone calls, can you take a cub, can you take a cub? You have to have an outside enclosure because I mean, you want to go out, you come back, even if you have them in a crate, the chances are one day they're going to get out that crate and they're going to absolutely trash your house. I mean, she's she's so high energy. I couldn't imagine her being in a crate. She, no. It would drive her nuts. Yeah. She needs to have loads and loads and loads of yeah. space. She's now going in with the other foxes and probably in a week's time, because she's bigger now, she can't get through the enclosures. She'll be out there with the foxes. I like my foxes to be foxes. I don't want to have a fox that is a pet. I want it. To, I want to be able to go in with my foxes. Zelda, please don't bury that egg. <laughs> She's got an egg now. The only way I can describe it is a cat on caffeine. Mm. Because she just doesn't stop. She doesn't stop, does no. she? She's on no. top of the chairs, she's down here, she's chewing this, she's jumping up there. And um, if you have a fox, you're not going to have something you can sit like we're sitting here no. and, and give it no. a cuddle like a no. puppy. They're no. not going to want to sit and just do this, are they? They will when they're tiny, but not when, you know, when they get bigger, that's it. 
suddenly this little thing becomes yeah. leggy like she is and they're off and they're pulling everything out. So the um, kindest thing is to give them an outdoor enclosure, a really spacious oh, one. Oh, they've got to have a really big in With lots know. of stuff they can do. What sort of stuff could you give them to do? Um, well, mine all have like little types, houses and slides and different toys. In fact, we had a, a box of toys come from <laughs> Scotland and that was quite funny. The, the box bits, you have to know your foxes and you have to know which ones you can put yeah. with which and you have to monitor them quite a lot. How did you actually um, house train her? They are like a cat. They lick, they're like a litter tray. They like to go in, but then sometimes they use it when they're little, but then they come, they don't bother. Yeah. This is why it's good to have an enclosure. They will go into one area normally, and uh, I have a very good jet wash, and I have a volunteer that comes and helps me because evidently I've got 11 foxes. Yeah. And how much bigger is she going to get than, than the size that she is now? Because she looks amazing with her great long legs. About the size of a small dog. She's getting to little fox size at the moment, between about five and six kilos. So they're not really that big, yeah. but they're big in the, what they can do. What colour is she? Um, well, she's supposed to be platinum, but she's turning to be amber platinum. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. And um, they are descended from fur farm foxes yes. originally? Yes, hundreds of years ago they were taken. They are from the, the red fox, um, but these were what would have been your fur coat. That's why they're tame and uh, they haven't got a fear. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! <laughs> uh, you're not having my iPad. Where did they originate from originally? I mean, the fur farm foxes that I she would have come from, which country would that have been? Here. England? Yes. So they're not Russia or no, one of the Nordic no, countries? No, they, they um, closed in 2000 here, November 2000. Okay, so her line comes from fur farm foxes here, yes. from the United Kingdom. Yes. Now, some people like to take foxes out, don't they, on um, harnesses? Yes, I think that is a good idea, if you can get the harness on them. Now, I t somebody sent me a harness <laughs> as a present. Can I get that on her? Yeah, no I, I would have trouble getting that on her. And also, the other thing I'd be very worried about is her slipping out of the harness because... We get special ones. It's, it, we have to have the, um, the H1 and it's got like the collar around the back. Oh, okay, so it's back. very tight yeah. fitting. Yeah. If she got out, do you think she'd run away? Oh, she'd definitely go and she'd probably come back. But what happens in the meantime, somebody could shoot her. Hmm. She could get hit with the car. A dog could get her. What do you feed them? She has chicken wings. I have them frozen because I feel that chicken should be frozen. I think it's three days and then it kills an awful lot of the okay. bacteria off in them. They have a little bit of fruit. They're not that keen on fruit. They do like pumpkin in the season. Uh, they're quite keen on pumpkin. They have um, butcher stripe and also they have an egg. If, if somebody has a... Hello. If somebody has a little baby like this gorgeous little girl in their house, mm -hmm. What should they expect? Just mayhem. Mayhem. So yeah. their wires chewed, all their stuff pulled out. Yes. Um, possibly poo and wee if they haven't got them trained. Yes, yes. Um, and they're not always that easy to train. You, you get one that is good yeah. or you get one that's Will bad. you get, I mean, you were saying <laughs> when they get to the crazies, they get, can they get nippy, bitey? Oh, they start and they can be really, yes, quite nasty. Can they properly bite, draw blood? Oh, yes, yes. She's uh, after the iPad. So. It's definitely after the <laughs> iPad, you're not having it. Um, yes, they, they, everybody gets rid of them then. They don't know how to handle them. They don't do enough research to work out what's going to happen with them. They look cute, but probably not the best animal as yeah, a they, pet. They are difficult. Um, Unless you're, as Angie was saying, a really, really responsible person and you've done your research, you've got an outside enclosure and you've got bags and bags of time. Yes. Is what you need. You, you and you need a lodge and you have to clean the lodge out, you know. And, um, in summer it's great because it's only like one bale of yeah. straw I put in there. And then in winter when it's cold, you have an insulated one evidently. Um, I have about four bales yeah. in to keep them warm. I didn't go to get a fox. Yeah. One came into the clinic. She was injured on the road. She couldn't be released because she had a slipping patella. And I thought, well, she goes across the road, the leg goes, yeah. car hits her. And we'd had her since, what, 12 days old. Um, I do frown on having a red fox as a pet, a oh, wild yeah. red fox. Or 
if it's a wild fox, it should be free. Should be free, absolutely. Should always be free. But that's that's important to make the distinction between what Zelda is. Zelda is domestic. She's a domestic she's fox. She's bred in captivity. She's not right. wild. If anybody was to release her, she'd most probably die. I was picking her up and um, she was wriggling a lot and kicking. And you were saying to me that's because she's got to this age. Mm -hmm. Whereas when she was very, very tiny, she was very cuddly and easy to hold. And now she's got to this age where she's using her legs and she's kicking yeah then she'll get to the crazies oh. age six months yeah and then when will she come out of the crazies it this is where the the parting of the you can know, the way you kind of have thing. her spayed and just calm the whole thing down she'll still go through the crazies that the will make no difference no, whatsoever no, no, i mean i have mine spayed if there's a male around yeah um, so will, will there come a point where you can actually cuddle her and hold her and and have her like this eventually after she no. calms down. No. 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 So the way she is right now, running around your house, is what a fox is. That yeah. is it. That's yeah. your life with yeah. a fox. I mean, I go in there. It's absolutely fantastic. I'll sit in with the enclosure with a cup of coffee. They all sit around me. They're all doing their own thing. They're all playing with each other, and they're enjoying life. Should they have a friend? Oh, definitely. I don't have an animal on its own. Angie, it's been fantastic talking to you today. And so there you've heard it here from the expert of Fox oh, no Angels. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. She's brilliant. She's fantastic. Look her up. What's your website? It's Foxbook. Foxbook on Facebook. If you go on Facebook, mm -hmm. you can find it there. And it's fantastic. You can ask Angie and she can give you advice. And also if you if you have any wild foxes or anything, where should, where, where should people contact if they if they live in the United Kingdom? Right, well, we're, we fox? are a sanctuary. Um, so really they want to contact um, National Fox. National Fox. Yes. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch on domesticated and pet foxes. And if you did, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel in the corner down there. And I will see you next week with our weekly episode on dogs, wolves, wolf dogs, now foxes, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now.